Hey Virgos, I am so, so sorry. I didn't realize that my sound cut out on that reading I put out for uh, someone who passed away. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Uh, I tell you, uh, I'm gonna try this again. I'm just using my phone instead of my computer. I apologize for that, you all. I'm gonna ask the Spirit to give me messages for who this will resonate with, the person who passed away. I had to leave that way. Uh, that's the second time I, I recorded a reading for you all. The first one I did earlier didn't go through. This, I still had I had sound issues with that before I sent out the other reading that that you all were that you all got uh, earlier. So I don't know what's going on with that today, you all. I, I don't even think that that this is a good time to do the reading for the person who passed away. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. You don't may not know why this person had to leave you. But it was for a reason. And they're, they're letting you know that things in your life happens for a reason. And after a while, everything is going to come together for you. Uh, not necessarily with their death, but if you're going through some things in your life right now and you don't understand why things keep happening the way it's happening, that's because you're, you're headed to a different path. You're, you're headed toward a different journey. All right. I send you loving signs through nature. You have things happening to you, like maybe you're seeing, starting to see butterflies. Uh, I said something earlier in that reading about maybe about bumblebees, having uh, seen bumblebees, a, a cockatoo bird or, or a white bird in general, or maybe like a dove. I'm so sorry you all about that. I don't know what happened. They're letting you know that they are just, they are just a thought away. I am with the rest of the family. And I have become one of your guides. They're letting you know they're guiding you and that they're leading you. They're sending you messages from the other side. And they want you to know that you are always with them. You are always in their thoughts. All right. Okay. Messages from a person who passed away, please, Spirit. Messages that we can actually hear. <laughs> messages that we can hear from the Spirit, please. For those who passed away fulfillment of wishes they're wanting your wishes to come true for you you probably sense this person when you're in water and i have here positive movement forward you probably sense this person when you're in maybe bathing or or maybe they like to swim or something around water maybe they lived on the ocean or near the ocean near water or vice or maybe you do And we have here financial and material changes. A lot of changes, a lot of fulfillment of wishes are coming true for you right now, Virgo, through your person. It's like their person is sending you signs and synchronicities, letting you know that I have some things planned for you. So you may not understand it right now. Everything is happening in your life for a reason because they're pushing you forward to your opportunity to, to love, to new things happening in your life. You're probably in hermit mode right now, maybe single. Uh, maybe you really don't want to be bothered. Maybe you're having to go within, maybe do a little research on something. Uh, maybe you're searching for who you are. Um, doing some, re maybe some religious studies or something like this. And having power. The power is already within you. Learn how to... Appreciate who you are more, knowing that you can be both, uh, be anything you want to be. Don't hide behind being af being afraid, being frightened, because the strength is already within. It's like you're your you're your own worst enemy. Messages, please, for Virgo, for the from the person who's passed away, please. Believe, look, believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Whatever it is that you want to do, take that leap of faith and just go for it. You can do anything and everything you set your mind to. And they're telling you you're so connected. You probably feel this person through uh, maybe when you're bathing on your water. You feel that energy the strongest when you're near water. Um... Somebody, this message for somebody in particular, 
if you have the habit of having a radio in the bathroom uh, or something, watch out for electrical appliances near water. Who these days uses the radio while they're in the tub? If that's something that you're doing, just be careful. Or just in general, something with the electricity and the water for who that resonates with. Stop doing it. If it's the bathtub, the kitchen, or something, all right? Something about the garage. Something maybe in your garage needs to be looked at if it's maybe sparking fire or if there's an open, kind of like a, a cord that's kind of, of exposed with exposed, something with exposed wire or something. All right. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. This person is always with you. They're always watching you. They're always with you. Wanting you to get out more and, and have a little fun. Maybe get out and, and garden a little bit more. Maybe garden in general if that's something that you haven't done. Whatever it is that, that you're wanting to do, you're going to find triumph. You're going to be very, very successful in some kind of business endeavor. Meeting that special someone. Having the strength to move on and understand that you can do anything you set your mind to. Oh, ooh la la. <laughs> I'm hearing ooh la la. Um, Tina Marie, ooh la la. It's like ooh la 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 la. <laughs> Sweet thing you got me. I don't know who that song belongs to, but I'm hearing that song. Ooh, and I'm getting chills. <clears throat> And you're very, very aware of this person's energy, okay? Maybe you two made sweet music together. And they're wanting you to know that they want you to remember them through song, through music. This person had deep, piercing eyes when they looked at you. It's like this person can look right through you. What is that? Falling for you, falling after you, falling over you, or whatever. This person, when you looked at them, it's like they looked right through you. I'm sorry for the glare. They could see you. They could feel you. Some of you, they could taste you. All right. And we have patience. Be patient. Whatever that you're working on is going to come through. Everything is going to just fall into place in the divine timing. Just give it time. Go ahead and, and manifest. Go ahead and plant your seeds because they will grow. You're trapped in fear right now because you don't know your left from your right. You have a lot of different things going on in your life. And they want you to know that everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine. There's no need to worry. <clears throat> I am so much better now. They're wanting you to know that they're better. They're on the other side of the rainbow uh, in the land of milk and honey. They don't have to worry about pain, pills, pressure, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, whatever it is. They don't have to worry about anything right now. They want you to, to be okay here because they're down show okay over there. All right? All right, y'all. I got to go. I got some more readings to do. Um, but look, we will be together again. Here's the water. I think you feel this person so much more. I'm here in the water, but also maybe in the car when you're riding or driving around somewhere. All right? I'm going to go. I'm sorry that the other reading, you, you, the, the sound just left out. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that until somebody posted it in the comments. But I deleted that reading. I hope you're able to resonate with this reading right here. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. And, oh, I put, I'm put i putting a reading on the, uh, the Virgo channel. Maybe you'll be able to relate to that one. I'm sorry, not the Virgo channel, but my original channel, the Nikki. Nikki, what is it? Um... I can't even think, y'all. Oh, Nikki Virgo 111. <laughs> so, and that reading is called Third Party Bitch in Your Shit. So go and take a look at that one, and I'll talk to y'all later. It's a third party bitch in your shit. All right?